Bam, there they are. Check it out, now see, that is straight above us. Is that not crazy? We've used lasers each summer, and each summer we've got bigger or more or spread them out more. And what we've seen each time we do an experiment like this is UAP in the sky. Travis Taylor believes it's finally time for everyone to know the full truth about what's happening at Skinwalker Ranch. On one of the spookiest nights yet, a group gathered at a spot known as the Triangle for a special experiment. Travis, his team, and experts like Pete Kelsey from New Salt Laser are there to investigate some strange lights in the sky, so they had powerful lasers ready, hoping to catch something even more unusual this time. What could they have possibly seen in the dark skies that night? We will uncover the latest finding that will put an end to all the speculations surrounding the famous ranch. A bold night of lights above the ranch their plan was pretty simple but still pretty bold. Once it got fully dark, they would set up their big lasers in the middle of the triangle, pointing them up at the sky. If anything weird passed through the laser beams, it might help them figure out what these strange lights were, from the ground way up into the sky. They also set up an extra laser to shine on a big white screen, thanks to Thomas who had a lift to put it in place at 31 feet high. Travis was ready with a special tool called a spectrometer to look at any changes in the light colors from the lasers, hoping to catch a glimpse of something odd they called the blob anomaly. Before we dive deeper into this, it's clear that what they were about to uncover was far more unsettling than anyone expected, and trust me, this won't be the only discovery that will leave you shocked. As the night took over, the team was all set to shoot beams of light into the sky and try to solve some of the strange happenings above the ranch. They planned to use their equipment to check the entire range of light, looking for anything out of the ordinary in their testing area. Eric looked over the huge amount of gear they needed to set up and told everyone it was time to get moving. With a nod from everyone, they started getting everything ready. The air was filled with a mix of nerves and excitement as they got their fancy gear set up. The lasers were placed just right, catching the last bits of daylight on their shiny surfaces. The techs were busy adjusting the equipment to make sure everything was working perfectly. Everyone was talking, mixing technical talk with guesses about what they might find out that night. Chris was focusing hard on getting the lasers set just right at low power, while Travis and Tim double-checked everything was ready to go. Tim confirmed they were all set, his voice calm but filled with a bit of excitement. The feeling of anticipation was thick as everyone stood around their setup, looking out towards the horizon. Then, Travis saw something strange in the sky. Hey, hey. What is, look right here, he shouted, cutting through the chatter around him. Everyone quickly looked up, trying to see what Travis had spotted. What is that, right there, right there? Caleb pointed, his finger following the path of the object in the sky. Everyone looked where he was pointing, trying hard to see it clearly as the light faded. Travis noticed something odd about the object, it had no lights. I don't see lights on it, he said, curious and a bit worried. Caleb agreed, I'm not seeing lights, either. The object moved smoothly through the sky, its lack of normal airplane lights making it even harder to figure out. I don't see aviation lights at all, Travis said again, his voice now filled with urgency. The team watched quietly, trying to understand what they were seeing. Caleb kept his eyes on the object, adding, yeah, I don't see any strobe. The fact that it didn't have the usual lights or blinking strobes you see on airplanes meant this wasn't just any regular plane. They started to realize this might be something really unusual. I think that could be a UAP, Travis said slowly, the term unidentified aerial phenomenon. Making everyone think even harder. The object kept moving silently and steadily to the north and west. The team was stunned, watching the object until it finally disappeared from sight. Yeah, I can barely still see it moving to the north and west, Travis said, trying to keep it in view. But soon, it was gone, swallowed up by the dark sky. The quiet that followed was filled with everyone's thoughts and unanswered questions. What exactly had they just seen? This new sighting made their nighttime experiment even more intriguing, 
leaving them with more to think about regarding the strange lights and happenings at the ranch. As they saw the object fade into the night, they couldn't shake the feeling that something bigger was about to show up. The sky's brightest object vanishes thinking back on the night's amazing events, Travis, who had over three decades of experience in optical science and had worked with NASA and the Department of Defense, knew this sighting was different from any he had seen before. This object was bigger and brighter than any UAP they had documented at the ranch before, and it moved like a craft for a few seconds before it just vanished. Feeling driven to find out more, Travis got the team together. All right. Well, let's get going, he said with determination. Tim let him know everything was hooked up and they were ready to start up the equipment once they had everything else in place. Travis was clear, they needed to begin their laser, LIDAR, and rocket tests right away. They wanted to see if the strange object might show up again, or if, considering the local stories about portals in the area, they might catch something that could explain why it disappeared so suddenly. Pete and the Omnitech team were all prepared. Eric, who needed to watch the monitors, said he had to head back to the command center. I've got to get back over to the command center where I've got all the monitoring screens up. Right now, he explained. Travis understood and encouraged everyone to get moving. Great. Well, I say we get to it. Everyone felt the tension rise as they powered up the big laser. Tim spoke over the walkie-talkie, telling Chris to slowly turn up the power. Copy that, Chris replied, his voice steady even though the air was thick with suspense. The team kept a close watch as intense beams of laser light cut through the dark sky. These powerful beams shone brightly, slicing through the night. They had set up advanced equipment with sensors and tools to pick up any unusual happenings. A big, white screen stood high as a key part of their setup, catching any breaks in the steady stream of laser light. As the experiment went on, the mood was serious yet filled with curiosity. Everyone there knew this was no ordinary task, they might be on the edge of making important discoveries. The lasers, now running at full power, lit up the area with a strange glow. The machines scanned every part of the light spectrum, looking for clues about an elusive object. Travis and his team stayed glued to their monitors, captivated by every little signal and change they detected. As the night wore on, they kept meticulous notes and observations. Their determination didn't waver, driven by the chance of uncovering what was hidden in the sky above Skinwalker Ranch. Time ticked slowly, but their excitement grew. They believed whatever they might find could be significant. The odd object they had spotted was just the start of the unknown, and they were determined to delve deeper. The night was long, but the possibility of discovery kept their spirits up. In the midst of the glowing lasers and humming equipment, Travis felt an excitement rush through him. This was the moment he had worked for, right on the brink of a discovery that could change their understanding of the sky above. As they continued with the experiment, Travis was struck. By the intensity of the laser's light. Yeah, that's bright. Wow, that's bright, he thought, amazed by the beam that pierced through the darkness. The light was almost too bright to look at, drawing everyone's attention. Before they turned on the seven large laser devices around the area, Travis wanted to test just one laser pointing directly at a 31-foot high board. This was the spot where they had seen a strange, blob-like anomaly that might have caused a rocket to explode back in 2022. It's like staring at the sun, thought Caleb, squinting against the bright light. As the laser fired, it painted the air with a range of colors, and Travis closely watched his spectrometer for any unusual changes. The device showed clear parts of red, green, and blue from the laser. Suddenly, Travis noticed something unexpected. The green part of the light got brighter, and the blue part dimmed. This change was odd because the laser was set to emit a constant light without any shifts in its colors. The sudden increase in green and decrease in blue suggested something was interfering at the 31-foot mark. Moreover, the shift in colors indicated something strange was going on in that space. The team felt excited, knowing the strange change in the laser's colors meant they were getting closer. 
A strange change in the sky's colors Travis's mind raced with possibilities. The strange changes in the laser's color spectrum suggested an unknown force was affecting their experiment. This added a new, complex layer to their investigation. Whatever was at that spot was more than a simple irregularity, it seemed to have the ability to change how light itself behaved. The team gathered around the spectrometer, all eyes on the data showing the color shift. This finding was a big deal, suggesting the presence of some unknown force or entity in the area. It was a moment that validated their hard work, boosting. Their resolve to figure out what was happening at Skinwalker Ranch. With the laser still lighting up the night, Travis and his team felt they were on the verge of a major breakthrough. The strange interference they found at 31 feet seemed like a clue that might help them piece together the larger story of the events they'd been tracking. This night not only confirmed their earlier thoughts but also opened new paths for exploration. With the discovery of the strange interference at 31 feet, Travis knew it was time to use all their tools to identify what was going on. All right, next step, he thought, getting the team ready. He assigned Jim to handle the LiDAR equipment and Pete to manage the thermal imaging. The team sprang into action, setting up and starting their devices. Lasers are up, Travis confirmed as the beams brightened the sky. The buzzing of the equipment added to the atmosphere of anticipation. Here we go, he thought as Pete's drone lifted off. Jim reported his position from above. Pete, I'm at 133 feet, he called out. I'm coming down to 100 feet, Pete responded, adjusting his drone to the perfect height. The LiDAR and thermal drones floated above the area, scanning it carefully. Copy that, Travis, they confirmed, letting him know the drones were fully operational. Try to go hot on the battery, Travis directed, preparing for the next part of the experiment. They counted down to the rocket launch. Rocket going hot in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The rocket launched into the sky, but then something unexpected happened. Instead of shooting straight up, it flew in a weird, S-shaped curve. Did you all see that? Travis thought. It looked like it was dodging around the anomaly. The rocket's path clearly changed, swerving away from its intended trajectory. It's going to land on the mesa, someone noted, everyone watching as the rocket took an unexpected path. The team was amazed as the rocket, which should have gone straight up, was redirected by something unseen. Travis and his team at Skinwalker Ranch faced a puzzling situation one night. They noticed that something invisible seemed to push their rocket off its usual path. This event left them scratching their heads, wondering what kind of force could alter a rocket's trajectory. The night's experiment opened up new layers of questions, fueling their desire to dig deeper into the odd occurrences at the ranch. As soon as the rocket veered off course, the team got straight to work, poring over data from drones and a spectrometer. The rocket's unexpected detour served as a crucial hint, there might be an invisible force affecting physical objects. With his mind buzzing with various scenarios, Travis found each idea more captivating than the last. This latest test not only reconfirmed the presence of unusual activities but also suggested that there could be a force at work that had the power to move objects. While discussing the rocket's new path, Travis wondered if the strange, blob-like anomaly they had observed earlier could be responsible. Pondering this possibility, he directed the team to proceed cautiously with their next steps. Tim checked that the lasers were ready, and Chris made sure all systems were go. The rocket is ready. Rocket is active. Travis announced, signaling the start of another attempt. After seeing the rocket take a strange turn, they knew they were close to finding something bigger than they expected. An invisible hand alters their plans the team initiated the countdown. Launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Travis led the count. The rocket soared into the sky again, its path closely watched by the team. After its launch, Travis immediately sought feedback. Bryant reported back, confused, noting there wasn't much wind to affect the rocket's path. 
Encouraging the team, Travis suggested they regroup and review the data to try to understand the rocket's behavior better. It's clear the rocket moved off its intended path as if nudged by something, Travis observed. This strange deviation seemed to repeat, deepening the complexity of the phenomena they were dealing with. Travis checked the monitoring screens and scanned the surrounding area. I don't see anything unusual, he remarked, asking Pete and Jim for their observations. Over the walkie-talkie, he asked, do you see anything? Caleb quickly replied, no, nothing out of the ordinary. Royston added his observations from monitoring the last rocket launch via drone, confirming there was nothing visible in the sky that could explain the deviation. Acknowledging their feedback, Travis decided to consult with Eric about their next steps. That night, after several tests involving a multi-laser rocket, the team gathered around their tent to analyze their findings. They were filled with anticipation and curiosity, eager to understand the strange events they had witnessed. They carefully reviewed images captured by cameras set to record the space cannon beams. To their surprise, the photos revealed anomalies within the laser beams themselves. Upon closer inspection, the team noticed interruptions in the beams that appeared and then vanished. It looks like the beam stops and then starts up again, Travis noted, surprised by what they saw. This suggested something was temporarily blocking the beams, interrupting their path. If something was in the way of the beam, it wouldn't continue beyond it, Thomas pointed out, voicing everyone's confusion. The anomaly seemed to selectively impact different colors in the light spectrum, blocking green light while leaving blue untouched. How does it block green and not blue? Thomas questioned, reflecting everyone's bewilderment. Travis, confused, admitted, it doesn't make sense. I've never seen anything like this. The photos also showed an odd geometric distortion at the edges of the beams. Look at how the ends of the beams appear rounded off, Travis pointed out, indicating the anomalies captured in the images. Yes, that's clear, Eric agreed, just as confused as Travis. What could be causing this? The team exchanged looks of confusion, each trying to make sense of the baffling findings. The photos consistently showed the anomalies, reinforcing the unsettling reality of their observations. This wasn't just in one photo, Eric noted, half amused by their situation. As they continued to sift through the data, they were left with more questions than answers. Despite their extensive scientific background, what they documented defied their understanding, yet there it was undeniable evidence of something unexplainable happening at Skinwalker Ranch. After going through long exposure photographs, the team gathered to look at the images displayed on their screens. Each frame showed distinct gaps in the green laser beams, appearing in three separate photos taken about 100 feet above a triangular area. You see, we captured this in three different long exposure photos, Thomas remarked, his voice a mix of shock and fascination at the discovery. Travis nodded thoughtfully, considering what they had found. If we're so busy all the time, we might never look at the right moment to see this, he mused, acknowledging the fortune of their timing. The fact that we captured three distinct images showing gaps in only the green laser beam confirms it wasn't just a camera error, Travis explained with certainty. Something created these separate gaps in just the green beams at a height of about 100 feet above the triangle. This revelation pointed to the presence of an unseen force or condition that selectively affected the beams, a phenomenon that continued to confuse them as they planned their next steps in uncovering the hidden realities of Skinwalker Ranch. Is the strange activity at Skinwalker Ranch just another unexplained phenomenon, or could there be something more going on that authorities aren't telling us? Could this be part of a bigger cover-up involving things we're not ready to know about? Tell us what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.